Hi, this is Sardar Mokim from Engine 021. Uh, as you all must have noticed that I've just started off this blog and trying to tweak it up, integrate integrate different uh, plugins, social options, connections, the widgets, etc. The biggest challenge had been to integrate Facebook comments and it had me for like it had me working for like two days in a row. So what irritated me was that the idea of signing up entering your email the website and then leaving a comment appears a bit too hectic to me so I needed to have Facebook comments I figured out a way to integrate those uh, onto my website and I like to share whatever I found out what we'll do is that we'll simply log on to the dashboard go to the plugin section and click add new right here we are gonna search for Facebook comments and click enter you'll see the second option that says Facebook comments for WordPress I'll click on install now confirm and uh, once it's been installed we are going to activate the plugin once the plugin is activated you'll see that it requires your application ID and the secret we are going to go on settings for Facebook comments and the checkbox over here shows whatever the requirements are in this section you're going to see a box that requires your application ID and the application secret now I'm not sure if many of you have tried uh, creating an application already but those of you who have done that you'll go to your application ID whatever you have created and here you'll see both the C app secret and the app ID available what we'll do is that we'll simply copy them right here and the app secret as well in this section once that is done you can figure out what options you need to check for example the first one says include Facebook comments on the blog which is something that you would want uh, the second option says that you need to hide WordPress comments it's not important that you have to but I would prefer that so third option says you can combine WordPress and Facebook comment counts directly and uh, the rest of the option you can just leave at them as it is there's another box that says like button settings I already have the social plugin available so I just selected don't uh, this section can be skipped directly you, it's not important that you have to check this one anything the checkbox says that you can display comments title if you want to uncheck it if you don't want the number of posts that you need to display I'll just change it to 5 at max the width of the comment box now it depends on how much width you have on the page available so I've got 690 pixels so I'll just take it to 650 and check the post comment on my Facebook profile now as it helps promote your blog as well English is US the language setting that is advanced settings they are they come check by default except for the second one uh, I'll leave them as it is because I'm not sure what effect does it have on unchecking or changing the options we'll click on update option there you go it has been updated time to check on the website I just go on a post this is what is appearing previously it's updated see it shows the number of likes that I've received since I'm logged in the Facebook account I've got the option to post to Facebook directly I can of course uncheck it but we'll test the post out hello post and comment now, there you go you can reply to this post if you are a new visitor like it and follow the post as well there's also settings option that takes you to your Facebook settings shows your application ID the app developer you've got this moderator option as well you can assign moderators if you want to for your blog you can assign the property whether the post has to be public or you want uh, yourself to approve each comment you can add blacklisted words if you want to you can check this one if you want uh, users to use your hotmail yahoo or AOL accounts the grammar filter I'm not sure if many of you will be using it but I prefer it the comment composer it will always show if you want to collapse when there are more than five comments it just shrinks up so we'll just leave them as it is and click on save the settings have been saved now and uh, just one final touch there you go I'm just gonna see whether this post to my profile as well and hit it just mention a disclaimer that this is a test post so comment this is then posted right there and we'll see whether it gets on a profile or not 
uh, it does see I hope this helps you out in setting up Facebook comments on your website if you do like the video make sure that you add me up on Google Plus subscribe to my blog like our Facebook fan page or the least that you can do is like the particular post if you want to thank you very much